Hey everyone, it's Jeff Robinson again, uh, working on this Back to the Future Trilogy Council application. And we're working on Sprint 2 now, so we've built out quite a ways from Sprint 1. And uh, we've got the same opening title. Uh, and then uh, basically once you set up your time traveler setup, uh, so you enter your name. And we'll do a little validation for the age, so you got to enter your age. And then it tells you basically that your name and how old you are, that your time travel has been set up, and next you get to actually choose your character. We expanded it out a little. Uh, the first initial only had three characters, and now we have uh, five. Uh, so it'll be Clara uh, for this episode of the game. It just basically lets you know that you pick Clara as your character, and now we've expanded out our our world, our future. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and pick one. We're going to head to 1955. And our Traveler Action Choice menu has expanded quite significantly as well. Uh, if you remember from Sprint 1, there wasn't much there. Now it's pretty thick um, and or robust. And now what I'm showing you real quick is just the, all the items in the treasure section. And we're showing all the items from the item section. And then we'll also show all the year locations as well uh, with all their descriptions as well. Next, we'll show the uh, treasures in the item and the traveler's item inventory. Um, and then we'll also show the items in the traveler's inventory. Next, we're going to basically show the Time Traveler info. It's got your name, character, and what year you're in at the current time. Um, and then next, what we'll do is we'll go look around. Um, and the look around gives a description of the year. also shows the items and the treasures in that location. Uh, and then we'll go and look at. And if you hit look at, it specifically only shows you the items and the treasures in that location. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go pick up an item. Um, so in this location, we've got a gun and virtual glasses. We'll go ahead and pick up the gun. And then I'm showing you that it's in our inventory now. And we'll go look at and show that it's actually depleted as well. And then what we're going to do next is pick up a treasure. Uh, in this location, there's only a map available. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. And I'll show you that it's in the current treasure inventory as well. And then it will show you the location showing that the treasure is gone. Next what we're going to do is we're going to travel to show you that we can travel to another location with these items that we've just picked up. Uh, so now we're in 1885. We'll look around real quick to show you the description of the year. And basically the only thing that's in this location is a book uh, in regards to the items or the treasures. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete something. Well, we're going to drop something. So we're going to put something down from our inventory. And so what we'll do is we'll put down the gun from our inventory. And then it'll show you that the gun is now gone from the inventory. And then I'll also go to the look at button again and show you that it has been added to the year location. Uh, next, we're going to drop a treasure. And we'll drop that map here now. And now I'm showing you that the treasure inventory has been depleted and now the treasure has been added to the location and what we'll do now is we'll add we'll drop one more item uh, we'll drop the hoverboard just to show you that you can add uh, additional items there's not a limit yet to the items that you can add uh, but we're gonna really build this out for the final build in sprint 3 maybe add some more characters maybe some bad guys uh, much more to come so keep keep uh, tuned in Thanks for watching.